Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video episode of Shout Me Loud. And this video is for all the people who have a website and struggling with their traffic going down. So if you have received my newsletter today, you are probably aware of keyword cannibalization. If you are not subscribed to my newsletter, but you are watching this video for the first time. So I think you should read, go ahead and read this article first about keyword cannibalization. It is a serious issue and chances are, especially if you have an old website or if you kind of churn out many content around the same topic, you might be suffering from keyword cannibalization. So let's understand keyword cannibalization in simple word so what happens is let's say you want to uh, you try to rank for a certain keyword and you end up creating two three articles around it now this this kind of activity confuses google that which article they should be ranking for and in return what they do what google does is it will down rank all the three articles because all these three articles are trying to rank for the same keyword and it is a serious issue now the solution to this is you need to first find which of the pages are trying to compete for the same keyword and you need to take some action and i've already outlined some action like you know you can fix on page seo update internal links delete the content or merge to content or easy one use canonical tag now uh, i'll let i'll leave all this thing for you to go ahead and read in the article i'll leave the article link in the description but what i'm going to show you in this video is how you can actually identify those keywords, those pages which are competing for the same keyword. So for this, we are going to use this tool by SEMrush. They have this feature called cannibalization. Now, to be very honest, SEMrush could have done a better job by making this feature more prominent. The downside is it only works with the keyword that you are tracking. Uh, so if you're not tracking any keyword with their position tracking tool, you would not be able to use it. And I think that's a significant limitation. I have a call with SEMrush people and hopefully I would recommend them to like, you know, offer this as a complete separate tool. Hopefully that works. But anyhow, for this video, I'm going to show you how to, you know, travel through this situation and use SEMrush to find the cannibalized content. Now a few things. So to use this tool, you need to have a paid plan. Uh, SEMrush definitely offers 15 days free trial, which is a good time for you to try out this tool and see if this one is for you or not. So for this, I'm using I am on group plan and I ha I'm allowed to use 1500, track 1500 keywords. Now, if you have a small website, so you would be probably tracking 500 or 1000 keywords. So you should be okay. But in my case, like I have, I, I have to track about 4,000, 5,000 keywords. So the way out is I actually had to delete all the tracking keyword and downside is when you do that, you lose the historical data. But again, those are certain limitation, but what really mattered in this regard is that you need to identify those pages which are being cannibalized. So let me show you how it works. All right. So the very first thing that we need to do is add a lot of keywords that we want to track for the uh, to find out the cannibalization. Now, one easy way that I do it is by going to Google search console. And I'm actually going to show you my process and you can of course optimize or improvise according to your need. So I'll just simply add the query. Now I know that like Amazon affiliate related keywords are being cannibalized on Shout Me Loud. So I'll, what I'll do, I'll select this. Uh, I'll increase the row per page to 500. Then click on export and download in CSV format. Now at the same time, I'll open a Google sheet and I'll show you why I'm doing that. Now here is a new uh, Google sheet. Now I need to click on file import. So we will be importing all the queries, the queries that we have downloaded from here. Uh, just a quick thing, which I forgot to tell you, you can change the query to anything that you feel, you know, you are cannibalized for. Or if you have a limited number of keywords, you can just export all of it. So let's go back. Let's open the downloaded folder. Now in, in this downloaded folder, we need to copy this queries sheet. So let's just copy it here. Click on replace current sheet and that's it. Click on import data. Now we don't need this few columns, so we can just simply remove them. And now we have, and also remove this particular row. So now we have all the keywords related to Amazon that is ranking for shout me loud. So we'll just simply export this and download, uh, make sure that you use the CSV format because that's what uh, SMRush supports. So just a quick recap, I've actually exported 
all the queries related to Amazon, you can do that for all the queries that you have. It's completely your choice. Now I've created a sheet. I've imported the queries.csv and just deleted all those other column that we don't need. And now I have a CSV file with all these queries. Now let's go back to SEMrush position checker and make sure that your main website is selected. Click on add keywords, select the open full editor. Right here we will, you would want to select the import file feature. Let's do that. And then select the spreadsheet that we have just created. Now you, you have an option to add a tag if you like, otherwise just click on add to project, click on update. Now all this keyword has been added. Now at this stage, I would definitely like to give it few minutes for them to track all the keyword ranking. Now in this case, like actually SMrush is pretty blazing fast and like I've already got all the ranking. So now the next thing you need to do is go to cannibalization. And as you can see, it's quickly showing me all the pages that are cannibalized. So I just simply click on this and it, it is showing me all the affected keyword or I can actually go to keywords, expand this and it can, it, it is showing me like for this particular keyword, these two pages are trying to outrank each, each of them. One is on the first rank and one is on the third rank. Now, uh, in this case, I may not take some action because these two are two different posts and sometimes it's quite natural that certain domain can rank on the first page for the similar query. And th this happens when, when you have a good domain authority and for certain topic, you have more authority than most of the blogs. So by doing this, you'll be able to find, you know, a lot of, lot of this pages which are competing for the same keyword. Now you need, like for example, these two pages are quite identical and they are ranking on the third and fourth position. Now I believe like if I merge them, I should be able to take the first position because right now what's happening, my, even my internal links are juicy is passing to two different URL. Now they all will be combined to one URL. So from here, I, I have multiple choices. I can actually delete one of them or I can merge one of them or I can do canonical tag. Now what action you need to do is something that you need to decide. I highly recommend that you read this article. I have given everything over here. I, again, I'll leave the link in the description. So once you have done this, now the next thing you need to do is you need to add more keywords. So here is my little shortcut that I use. So what I'll do is, uh, so what you need to do is you need to re delete all this keyword if your keyword quota is finished. What you can do is you can click on this, click on add new device. Let's just select India, some other location. It does not matter in this case. What matter is like, I'm just adding a new location and why I'll show you in a quick bit. So this is just for test purpose. You don't, this is, does not really matter. So there is two way I can delete all those keyword. One is actually I can go, I can go to this particular area, click on overview and you know, I can just select all the keyword here, remove one. And so you can see like I can delete only hundred keyword at a time and I need to repeat this process 900 times, uh, sorry, nine times. So what I can do is I can just simply go here, delete this whole device and location. And that's it, Turn up. it's all gone. So now what I'll do, I'll just repeat the same process for the other queries that I have and this way I'll be able to find all those pages which are being cannibalized. Now I feel this this process is little tedious and I hope like SMrush make these changes because I believe cannibalization is a serious issue. A lot of domain and a lot of bloggers I know are being affected by this, especially when you're dealing with a website with a large size. Position tracking is not the best place for this feature. Either way, but I, I really like the overall feature of cannibalization here and guys go ahead and read this article. I hope if you are fixing your website, this article and this video helps you. I'll leave the link for SEMrush trial code. Full disclaimer, if when you buy a plan using this code, I'll get a commission. However, this would not cost you anything and it's going to help me to buy a coffee. Either way guys, uh, I hope this video has helped you. And if you like this video, do like and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye. This is Harsh Agarwal.